Jojo Kids Lazy Donkey Once upon a time, in a village lived a salt merchant. Every day, he took sacks of salt to sell them in the market. He had a donkey who was very lazy. The merchant treated his donkey with lots of care. He fed him on time with rich grains. He loved his donkey. But the donkey was loved to relax and he did work. One day, when the merchant was carrying his salt to the market, there was a river flowing on their way. When the merchant took his donkey inside the river to cross it, suddenly the donkey slipped into the river and all the salt that he was carrying got dissolved. Oh uh, no, uh, 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 I fell down. But where is the weight that I was carrying? Gone? Oh, what is this? All the salt got washed. All the salt got wasted. Now we will have to go back home. Come on, donkey. Let's go home. Donkey thinks. Wow, how wonderful. No work. I know loads to carry. Next day, when the merchant took the donkey towards the market, the donkey thought of relieving himself from the load. Let me again fall down in the river myself and get away from this load. From that day, the donkey sat in the middle of the river to free himself of the load. The merchant doubted the donkey and now he wanted to teach the donkey a lesson. One day, he filled the sacks with cotton and marched towards the market. Then as soon as the donkey sat in the middle of the river, Oh, today I am not able to pick up myself up. The load has become heavier. Oh, I think the merchant has doubt on me. <laughs> I know about your trick. But beware, if you do this again, you will repent. <laughs> Cuckoo's Big Egg Lovely day, it's a lovely day, I will become Papa today, I will become Papa today, yes it's a lovely day, yes today is the day to become father, oh my baby is coming out, I'm so excited, oh no. Oh no! This is not fair. I will complain. I will complain for this. Please open the door, Swamiji. What happened, child? Why are you so upset? How can I help you, my child? Koo, always cheat me. Koo, always cheat me. She always cheat me. She mixed her rags with mine. I am very upset. I am very upset. This is cheating. This is cheating, Swamiji. This is wrong. Very wrong. Let me call her. What happened, Swamiji? Why did you call me? You did it, Kuhu. You again did it. What? What have I done, Swamiji? Let me come. I will explain you. Why should I mix my eggs with your eggs, Kalu? I saved my eggs near the river. Come, I'll show you. Come, come, I'll show you. My lovely, lovely, white, white, beautiful eggs. Come soon outside, baby. I'm waiting for you. Come soon. Waiting for you, baby. Waiting to see you. Wait, wait. Your baby is coming out, right? Run, run! If you want to save your life, run! Look, Swamiji! Look, Swamiji! It's a crocodile, baby! Oh, no! You cheater! You have to pay for this! The Golden Egg Once upon a time, a merchant who used to sell eggs lived in a village. He owned a big poultry farm where there were many hens. The merchant used to take good care of his hens. Every day, he collected eggs given by his hens and sold them to the market. One day, when he was coming back from the market, he found a hen. The hen was thirsty and hungry too. 
He took the hen and brought it to his farm. He took good care of the hen and thus the hen became healthy. One day, when he came to collect the eggs, he found a golden egg. Oh, what's this? Seems like a golden egg. Oh yes, this is golden egg. Wow, I will be rich now. From that day, he collected one golden egg daily. and one by one he purchased many things within a few days he bought a big house and many cars after one month he had so many things that he needed nothing more one day a selfish thought came to his mind he thought if he becomes the richest person of his village and also of the earth next day when he went to the farm to collect eggs he found one golden egg there He got angry by seeing one egg there. Oh, only one egg. I cannot become richest with one golden egg every day. Let me do something to get richest. Okay, I will take out all the eggs from the hen's stomach and immediately become rich. The merchant killed the hen for golden egg, but there was no egg in its stomach. Oh god what have i done there is no egg in the stomach i made a big mistake i must have been wise moral greedy person loses what he has rabbit and the lion long time ago in a beautiful forest lived many animals they lived happily and peacefully One day a lion came to the jungle as he was strong he ate many animals without asking slowly slowly the animals population decreased and they all were very worried and scared one day all the animals took a decision and went to the lion the elephant said we all have decided something tell me What have you decided? One of us will come to you as your food every day. You would not need to find your food. How can I believe you? You will have to. Otherwise all of us will die soon. There will be no animals in the jungle and you will not get food. Please give us a chance to serve you, dear king. All right. But make sure that one of you come on time every day. Every day one animal went to the king as his food. One day the rabbit went to the lion as his food. He didn't go on time. He had planned a trick. When he reached to the king, the lion was very angry. Why were you so late? My stomach would not even fill by eating you. Dear lion, one more animal was also coming with me, but he was eaten by another lion. Another lion? Who ate my food? How dare he? Take me to him. Oh, of course. Of course, king, please follow me. The rabbit took the lion to a well. King, the other lion is hiding in the well. The lion looked in the well. There he saw his own reflection and jumped in the water to kill the other lion. Poor lion died in the water as he was unable to come out. All the animals praised the rabbit. All animals were saved because of the rabbit's trick. They all now lived happily in the forest. Tortoise and Rabbit. Once in a jungle, there were two good friends, a rabbit and monkey. They played together daily. Many times, they play race competition. Whenever the tortoise saw them playing, he also wished to play. No one wants to play with him because he runs very slow. One day, when Rabbit and Monkey were running, at that time the tortoise also wished to run and play. Why don't you play with me? Please, give me a chance to play. Please, 
both rabbit and monkey started laughing on him. How can you run, my friend? You can't even walk quickly. Tell me, tell me, how is this possible? So it means I will not win. Then why are you scaring? Let's run. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Okay, let's start the game. Monkey will declare the winner. The one who quickly completes the round of the river will win at the end. The race started. The tortoise started running in his own speed and the rabbit quickly completed half of the race. Because the rabbit was very arrogant, he thought, It is impossible to win over me. Let me take some rest for a while. But the tortoise was determined to win. And for that, he continuously running without taking any rest. By the evening, he completed the race successfully. Monkey was surprised. Moral, slow and steady, always win the race. The sky is falling. The wind blew hard and its sound thrilled a little rabbit. Oh, oh, what is this sound? I must hide myself somewhere. And the rabbit hid himself in his hole, which was under a mango tree. Suddenly, he heard a huge sound. The scared rabbit came out of his bill at once and started shouting. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Run! Run! And he started running. On the way, the fox asked the rabbit, What happened? Why are you running so fast? The rabbit replied, Didn't you hear the scary sound? Don't you know? The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Run! Run! The rabbit started running after listening to the rabbit. The fox also started running with the rabbit. Seeing the fox and rabbit running, the other animals like the monkey, elephant, giraffe and the two started running. The lion came out of his cave when he heard the animals running. The lion asked the animals, Why are you all running? What happened? The rabbit replied, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The lion was astonished. Who told you this? The rabbit explained everything to the lion. But the lion didn't believe him. The lion asked the rabbit to take him to the place where the sky had fallen. The rabbit took the lion and all other animals to the mango tree. But what did they see? A big mango was lying on the ground. The lion laughed after seeing this. All the animals now realize that they were fooled by the rabbit. More, we should never came to a final decision without thinking. Please subscribe.